NFR 445 Live is sponsored by Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. Join us for nightly live performances, viewing parties, and dining specials. Complimentary shuttle service available to and from Thomas and Max Center. Round seven of the National Finals Rodeo presented by Wrangler kicks off in less than an hour. I'm Harry Ruiz. Welcome to NFR 445 Live presented by Virgin Hotels. I'm here with Logan Hay, Bronc Rider. Congratulations, man. You've had two amazing rounds the last two days. First place, how has that felt? Yeah, it's pretty crazy that I uh, get my first round win in round five there. That was a really special moment, and I didn't think I'd win another one so quick, but to get back-to-back -back round wins like that, it, it was amazing. Those last two wins have possessed, put, put him up in the top five in the rankings. Did you ever think in the world, by the way, did you ever think you'd be up there? Um, I always have uh, put myself, like, thought that I should be, you know, the, one of the best in the world. Um, I didn't know coming into my first NFR how it was going to go. I've been preparing for it for a long time. Um, I never imagined it would be going this good, though, so I'm just going to keep taking it one horse at a time and keep rolling having fun. So it's his first NFR participating in it, but you've been out here before to support your dad, your uncle. They were both in it. Your brother, he's been in it. Was there any nerves now, you participating in it? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I've been here a lot of times before watching, and uh, last time that I came here, I came here last year to watch my brother, and I said, uh, yeah, next year I'm going to be riding here. And so that's what I worked hard all year, and uh, to accomplish that, you know, I, I am pretty proud of myself. Your father, Rod, your uncle, Denny, your brother, Dawson, now you are in the mix. Does that put any more pressure on you being like, hey, I got to have that hey name up there in the standings real high? Uh, I don't think of it like that. I just try and uh, just do my own job. I don't try and put any external pressure on that I don't need. You know, I just try and do my best every night and let the chips fall where they will. You were super close in 2021. What was it, $1,500 away from the top 15? Yeah, yeah, I missed it by $1,500 last year, so that kind of lit a fire under me as well. It's, you know, one placing at any rodeo throughout the year, and I would have been here last year too. So having that to fire me along all year, that definitely, definitely helped. <laughs> Calgary Stampede, how special was that for you? And was that like the launching point of being like, hey, you know what, I can be up there in the top five in the world? Definitely, yeah. Calgary was a huge step for me. I was uh, I was coming back off a broken ankle uh, that I broke in March, and then so I was kind of getting rolling. But that's when it started to feel really good again. It was right at the beginning of July, and when I uh, won that, that I knew that I could uh, compete with anyone on any given day, and that was a huge bump. It sent me from I think I was 17th all the way to seventh right then. So that was a huge bump for me, and yeah, definitely a confidence booster as well that I can compete with anyone. So Logan Hay is right now the fifth best bronc rider in the world, but well, you're number one. You got the world record of the best ride in the world. How did that feel? And I mean, it, did you ever think you'd get that? Yeah, that's like that's not something that uh, you even set uh, your goals for. You know, I've been setting goals to uh, make the NFR be a world champion, be a Canadian champion. But that one was just kind of that just happened. I got on uh, the rankest horse by far I've ever been on, it's Explosive Skies of the Calgary Stampede, and. She's a truly amazing athlete, and I had her in a bronc match in Alberta, and yeah, it all worked out together, and I ended up uh, beating the world record by half a point. And here's the kicker. Who did you beat for that record? I tied, yeah, my brother had tied it the year before, and I've, I got him this year. <laughs> there you go, and now my last question. You're competing against your brother out there. Does that is that weird? I mean, you probably get used to it out, out there at the other competitions, but now here at the NFR, is that a little bit weird? Yeah, it is weird. Me and Dawson back there on the shoots all together, it's it's pretty crazy. You know, it, it just makes the guy feel at home. And with all the other Canadians that are here, too, it's, we all grew up together. We all started together. And to be here on the world's biggest stage, it's, it's amazing. And now, for real, my last question. Now that you mentioned Canada, I saw a lot of Canadian flags out there before you took your first ride. How does that feel as a Canadian-born coming out to the United States, the biggest arena in the world when it comes to rodeo, to see your co-national supporting you? Yeah, it's awesome. I've seen a lot of friends and family for, that have uh, been in the stands here cheering us all on. And, yeah, I'm just proud to represent uh, Canada here. Logan Hay representing Canada, but also the most awarded winning family in Canadian Bronx history, Bronx riding history. Logan, thank you so much and the best of luck. 
Thanks for having me. There you go. Logan Hay, keep your eye on him. If you don't have tickets to come to the NFR tonight, go to any of the watch parties in town. I suggest the one at Virgin Hotels. It's amazing. Tomorrow we will have more guests out here at NFR 445 Live. For the best coverage, visit thereviewjournal.com, lvrj.com, slash NFR. I'm Harry Ruiz. Have a fantastic night, Las Vegas. NFR 445 Live is sponsored by Virgin Hotels Las Vegas. Join us for nightly live performances, viewing parties, and dining specials. Complimentary shuttle service available to and from Thomas and Max Center. Las Vegas, us, our 